What's going on guys? Today's review is on the Daily Fish and Chips Red Sauce Flavour, made by Burton's. Now, apparently these were originally from the 80s, they had all different flavours. My favourites of these are the um, salt and vinegar flavour. Um, they all have their own little uh, features on the pack. There always are newspapers. Um, this is uh, part of the red or brown. I haven't tried the brown yet, but I'm going to try the red first. Obviously to tomato ketchup is what it is. Um, lashings of red sauce, flavour baked snack biscuits, red devils rule the roost. In today's big match, league team Reddington Red Devils wipe the floor with something rivals Brown Town 15 to 0. The turning something something Brown Star Strike something got a battered and unpleasant shop. Harry Haddock was. Something, the lad's done great. I round wash down with stuff. Obviously you can't read that, so I'm just reading, reading to you what it says. Red lights cause chaos. Traffic ground to a halt when lights at the junction of Cod Lane and Chipping Road got stuck on red. I was waiting for hours, moaned fish fishmonger Tony Turbot, when I realised something. someone had filled up the lights with red sauce. Instead of flashing red, amber and green, they were flashing red, red and red. Traffic ground to a halt when lights at the junction of Turbot when I realised someone had filled the lights red sauce. There you go, it's just saying the same thing. Yeah, it just repeats itself like really weirdly. And you get them to there. Uh, and you can win money as well. There's another, there's another little story on the back. Firefighters came to the rescue when Coral's Chippy ran out of red sauce. They just rolled out their red ho hoses and pumped it in. Exclaimed owner Rose Haddock. Chief Fire Officer Barry Burgundy commented, I something, why people are so surprised, I something, else are you going to carry something red fire engine? So yeah. It's kind of crap that they don't let you read on it, because it's like, you know, you kind of have to guess. So these are the snack packs. They used to sell the massive packs. I think they stopped selling them because they're quite fattening. Um, <coughs> I also noticed that they um, slowly and slowly were putting less flavourings on the salt and vinegar ones, the original ones. Alright, so let's open the pack. Give it a go. I'm not going to read all the instructions and that on the ingredients. Okay. Whew, they're very strong smelling and they got a lot of flavouring on them. They're like biscuits. Like crackers, if you're American, crackers, but they're biscuits. In the UK, you can see they're very... They got like a red tinge to them. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but they got a red tinge to them. Wow. So immediately, you get that artificial tomato, very strong artificial tomato flavour, like you would usually get from dipping a chip in tomato sauce. And it tastes very, very much like the tomato sauce. Um, I'm not a fan of tomato sauce, but this has a kind of a tinge, tinge to it, like a more of a pungent kind of sourness to it. Um, like it's a, a lot more stronger and, and kind of nicer tasting than tomato sauce, in my opinion. So just from trying one, they taste really good, and they are covered in flavouring, as you can see, which is how they should be. There's a chip. Um, I've seen people review these and expecting them to taste like actual fish and chips when they're not. They're just shaped like them. So I'd give these a 4 out of 5. They taste really nice. Definitely pick some of these up to try them. They taste